She is one of my dear friends. I really appreciate her presence in my life. And in her speech today, she will be talking about, it's good to have a generous heart, but can a generous heart do more harm than good? In this, in her speech, Janelle will explore the best topic today. In her second speech from the CC Communicator Manual, organize your speech, a five to seven minute speech entitled, The Thought Didn't Count. Please help me welcome Janelle. It's December and it's the peak season for charitable giving. People are putting spare change into red buckets, and they're buying gifts for families and foster kids in need, and they're writing checks to local charities. According to the Network for Good, 30% of charitable giving happens this time of year. Now, we've always heard that in giving, no matter how bad the gift, it's the thought that counts. But how does that apply to charitable giving? Well, I think it's worth talking about. And something I'd like to explore today. Let me start by telling you about a story, something I experienced a few years ago. I've had the opportunity to go to Malawi a few times with my church. Malawi is a developing country in the southern part of Africa. And you know, there you'll find stark differences between city life and rural villages. Out in the villages, you would find dirt roads that lead to small brick huts with thatched roofs. Outside would be fires where the women would do their cooking, mixing maize flour with water to create a, a substance called enzima. It's an edible utensil, and while it has no real nutritional value, it is filling. And it may be the only thing that people will eat all day, if not all week. And you'll find women with babies slung on their backs, gracefully carrying buckets of water on their heads. This water may be clean, but it may also be dirty and carry parasites and diseases. You'll find children running all around and playing and laughing, and they're doing so in dirty, torn, ripped clothes. But this is life in the village. And this is a scene that another woman from our church saw, a woman named Janet. And she saw this, and she knew that she could have solved all of these issues. She had a gift to solve at least something because Janet knew how to sew. And Janet thought, I could do something for these little children, these little girls, because she knew a simple dress pattern. And when she got back to the States, Janet began sewing dresses for these little girls. And she got a Girl Scout troop involved, and they began sewing little dresses for little girls. And they must have sewed over 50 dresses for these girls in Malawi. Now, she herself couldn't deliver these dresses. They went with another group, a group that I was on. And we uh, delivered these dresses. This wasn't our main mission in going, but one day we delivered them. Our guy took, to, took us to a village, and uh, he gathered all of the community around, and they lined up these little girls one by one, and we began handing out dresses to little girls. And you should have seen the smile on the, their faces, and they were twinkling in their eyes as each girl got their new dress you would have thought we were handing out princess dresses. And they put the dress on and they felt beautiful. We wanted to share this scene with Janet and the Girl Scouts back in America. We asked if we could take a picture. They gathered all the little girls together with glowing faces and their pretty new dresses. And the cameras began snapping. And it was a moment that I will never forget. And here's why. Because on one side were girls with dresses and smiling and pretty new, uh, pretty new outfits. But on the other side of the camera were little boys crying and clinging to their mothers. Because we'd only brought dresses. We hadn't brought anything for little boys. They were crying and they were screaming and I could see and nearly feel their pain. And I looked to their mothers, and I could feel their pain, too. Because this wasn't a moment where a mom could teach their son, you know, hey, today is your sister's turn, but next time it'll be your turn. Because next time wouldn't come without significant hardship to that family. I looked at all of these crying boys, and I thought, 
What have we done? We thought we were doing good. But we had created chaos and frustration with these little boys and their families. We missed it. And looking back, we missed it in more ways than that. And than that. You know, this community, this village, they never asked us to dress their children. We made assumptions about that problem and assumptions on how to fix that. And I think about how we missed it when there are women in the market selling fabric and seamstresses in the village and what they must have been thinking when they saw us coming in with dresses, giving them away for free. And how say they saw that potential income just drip down the drain. We missed it. And that's when I learned that really helping is not good or bad, but it's power. And in and of itself, it's not going to do good. No matter how good the intentions are, it can cause harm. But it doesn't have to. Good intentions and helping can bring good results, and I've seen it happen. There are, uh, are multiple organizations doing this, and I think that's where it really starts, is partnering with organizations who not only work for, but with the people that they are helping, and going to them first. I think of organizations like Zoe Orphan Empowerment Program, which is helping uh, teenagers in developing countries raise their younger siblings so that they don't have to go into orphanages by providing training and life skills to those, uh, to those kids. I think about here in town even, uh, Community Link, which helps families who are homeless get off the streets by providing job skills and life skills and transitional housing. You know organizations, there are multiple of them. Uh, and this season of giving, I encourage all of us, myself included, to find ways that we might be able to give or to serve, to take good intentions and partner with good organizations so that we don't cause harm, but find ways that we can create good results to bring hope and healing and strength to people who need it. Thank you.